Hey guys, welcome back. Wishing you all a warm welcome from this beautiful city of Turku, which is in the south of Finland. I am Dr. Santosh Jacob, orthopedic surgeon and COVID-19 physician from the city of Chennai, Tamil Nadu in India. And this video is about the five important things which we have learnt till now about the Omicron. But just before that, if you find this content useful, informative, interesting, then like, share, subscribe and also do press the notification button so that you get such regular updates. All right, so let's get straight into point number one. The Omicron is 20 times as transmissible as the Delta variant, but it is 11% less pathogenic or less virulent than the Delta variant. What does this mean? This means that if Omicron is there in your country, you are going to meet with it and you are going to get infected. But if you are an unvaccinated person, then the possibility of you getting an infection which is could be as bad as the Delta variant is around 89%. Point number two, what are the common symptoms and how is it different from the Delta variant in its clinical presentation? One, the common symptoms are headache, a runny nose, cough, fatigue, tiredness, which is sometimes accompanied by a scratchy throat. These are the initial symptoms. A very interesting point to note is that loss of taste and loss of smell are not as common with the Omicron as it was with the Delta variant. So do not look at that as an important symptom. Point number three, what is the protection rate for the vaccinated against the Omicron? In studies which involve the mRNA Pfizer vaccine, it shows that it gives you a 40% protection against infection. That is, you getting positive for the Omicron or the COVID-19 Omicron variant. But protection against hospitalization and severe disease is closer to 80%. So if you're fully vaccinated, you definitely have a better chance. Point number four, the cycle of illness in the Omicron variant is that the incubation period is quite short. It is only 48 hours and your entire disease cycle is around eight days. What it implies is that if you do not have severe symptoms by day eight, then your disease cycle is ending and you're probably not infectious. This also implies that the contagious part or the contagious period of somebody who has Omicron is lesser than the Delta variant. Now coming to point number five, the Delta variant had a disease cycle of 16 days. We just saw in point number four that the Omicron has it at around eight days. What it means is that the time taken from you getting infected to getting to the hospital if you are going to have a severe version of the disease is eight to 10 days. Whereas in the Delta, it was 16. The Omicron's first patient was noted on November 13th in South Africa, Guanteng. Studies are showing that even though the infections rose up, hospitalizations and deaths have only marginally increased. And that is very good news. This is primarily in areas where they have a zero positivity, which is above 80%. What zero positivity means is that if you have antibodies in the community, if more than 80% of those in the community have antibodies against the COVID-19, that can be achieved either through being fully vaccinated or by having a natural infection of COVID-19. So guys, from what information we have, it seems like if you are vaccinated and if you belong to a country which has a good zero positivity rate, Omicron is really not going to affect you. But if you belong to a place where vaccinations are at a lower percentage, then you need to be really vigilant and make sure that you take all steps that you can wear a mask Try to get vaccinated, take your vitamin D, vitamin C, exercise, keep yourself fit and eat a nutritious diet in order to protect yourself from the Omicron. To summarize, the Omicron being as transmissible as it is, is going to infect everybody. 
and whether we are vaccinated or not will have a great impact on how it affects us. So let's get vaccinated and let's protect ourselves against this Omicron. All right, guys, signing off from the beautiful city of Turku in Finland, Dr. Santosh Jacob. Bye bye. And if you have any questions or any queries, put them down in the comments below and I will answer them. All right. See you guys. Bye bye.